There are not only 101 legal concerns uh, surrounding vaccine mandates, but plenty of ethical ones, too. As in, is it ethical for private businesses to require all their employees to get the shot? Is it ethical for them not to? Can the voluntarily unvaccinated be charged more for their health insurance? Should they have to disclose their status to others? Which I assure you would not be a HIPAA violation, no matter what the Internet tells you. But as I said, a mountain of ethical challenges, so leading us up on our climb of that terrain is America's premier medical ethicist. That would be Art Kaplan, the founding head of the Division of Medical Ethics at NYU School of Medicine, who just so happens to be a weekly contributor to Boston Public Radio. Art, it's great to see you. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. So we determined on the show the other night that it is perfectly legal to require someone to be vaccinated to come to work. Is there any ethical barrier to those ma such mandates? Well, you might say the employer has a need to accommodate if it were possible, meaning you could work from home, work over the internet. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, no. I think the employer has a duty to make the workplace safe. If you show up spewing virus all over the place, uh, even when others have been vaccinated, there's still a risk of a breakthrough. And, you know, we had a long tradition in the U.S. of trying to make the workplace a safer place. So vaccination is a part of that. So you anticipated my next question, uh, uh, which is sort of the flip of the first question. Is it ethical not to mandate vaccines at the workplace when we know that everybody who enters it, worker and customer, is safer uh, if they are? I don't think so. I mean, I keep hearing about the need to pay attention to the rights of the unvaccinated. Here's what I'd like to do. Pay attention to the rights of those who are vulnerable, the elderly, children, people with immune diseases. You're going into the workplace, you get sick, you take it home, you get your kid infected or grandma infected. That's not a good situation. So I want the boss the employer to be worrying first and foremost, how do I keep this workforce safe? How do I keep the relatives, families, partners of those who work here safe? That ought to be the moral priority. So I compiled a list of all my ethical questions. I admit some probably don't neatly fit, but I figured you were here, why not? So let's start with something a lot of people are asking. Uh, we know that in certain states, you can ask a smoker, for example, to pay more for his or her insurance. Can you ask an insurance company, ask a person who has chosen to be unvaccinated to pay more for his or her insurance? Well, in the spirit of your Jeopardy style of questioning, the answer is yes. Um, mm. We do it all the time. We do it in life insurance. We do it in uh, disability insurance. And to some extent, we even do it in health insurance. We charge extra premiums for smokers. So if you are doing something that makes you more likely to wind up in the ICU, if you are doing something that makes you more likely to be dead, I think your insurers are going to want to know about that. And you could be asked to pay a premium to cover those costs. Absolutely. Is that happening, by the way, or is it, I was going to say too soon, but we only had the vaccine for a handful of months. Is it happening in any jurisdictions? I have not seen it happening anywhere yet. There's always a reluctance to sort of pick on bad behavior, partly because there's so much bad behavior out there <laughs> between <laughs> obesity and people who don't exercise and on and on. But you can single this one out because it's posing a risk to others, too. And we are in a declared emergency. So I think that's what makes mm -hmm. it different. But that's what the hang up is. You co-wrote a piece in USA Today in which you quote some conservative, I can't remember his name, in which he says uh, being unvaccinated is becoming the new scarlet letter and forcing someone who is unvaccinated to disclose whether they are is uh, totalitarianism. Is it ethical to ask somebody, are you vaccinated? Are you, <laughs> I, I know that quote. I'm hearing it again. It just cracks me up. Are you kidding? Of course you can ask somebody if they're vaccinated. I ask people, uh, people get asked all kinds of questions all the time. You know what happened when I was uh, 15 and trying to sneak into bars? They said, show me proof of ID. How old are you? It took me a lot of effort to find ways to get into those bars. So I remember it very well. 
you can be asked and you should expect an honest answer again in the middle of an epidemic, are you or are you not vaccinated? I'm gonna tell you flat out, when I hear athletes and celebrities mumbling and saying it's a personal choice, or as you pointed out earlier, falsely invoking HIPAA, you don't tell me you're vaccinated, I assume you're not. Uh, I'm with you on that. So this one is the one that does neatly uh, fall into the ethical category, but I'm obsessed with it. And I know we've spoken to you about it on the radio about it too. Uh, we read a lot about religious exemptions. There's at least one kid, for example, in the UMass system uh, who is suing UMass because he or she believes they're entitled to religious exemption. You have uh, tutored us on the radio about the fact that you're not aware of a religion, including Christian science, that prohibits or uh, vaccines. How can one claim a religious exemption when the religion you belong to says it's okay to have a vaccine? I'm serious. So the major religions, let's be clear, want you to vaccinate. Again and again, they issue statements saying, do it, it's good for your neighbor, it's good for the community, it's the right thing to do. I can't find any religion that says don't. And even in areas like Christian science, it's usually a conscience decision. It's not prohibited uh, that uh, you vaccinate. So how do you get to have a religious objection? You wake up one day and say, I don't like vaccination. I don't want to do it. That's my religion, which technically is not a religion. <laughs> I mean, you might have a deeply held belief, but what you're doing is saying, I don't want to do this. Do we have any ethical, do we who are vaccinated have an ethical obligation to the unvaccinated? I think you're, uh, I don't want to characterize your emotions, but I think you're, can I use the word anger towards those who choose to be unvaccinated sort of is on the same plane as mine. But do we have an ethical, can you step back? Do we have an ethical obligation to the unvaccinated? And I've only got a half a minute. No, uh, we don't. What we need to do is make clear that the moral framework is going to tip toward those doing the right thing. There's going to be some loss of liberty, work, recreation, sports, wherever, if you don't do it. In a plague, look, you either line up with prohibiting the virus or you line up with the virus. I know where I am. I'm in the same place. See you on the radio, Art Kaplan. It's a pleasure. All right, thank Thanks so much you. for your time. Be well.